What's good everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be talking about the top five plugins that I use that increase my quality of life when working in DaVinci Resolve. All the plugins we are going to talk about are linked in the description down below, so be sure to finish this video first and then go ahead and check them out down below. The first plugin that we are going to talk about is a plugin that has saved my life when it comes to audio noise reduction many of times. This plugin has salvaged footage that I thought was going to be completely unusable through its AI technology that reduces noise. This is a plugin by Waves and it's called Clarity. I'm just going to let you see the plugin at work for itself with the raw footage, DaVinci Resolve's inbuilt noise reduction, and then with Waves Clarity at different levels. I finally made it on board the aircraft. I actually ended up missing my gate. They changed it last minute. I finally made it on board the aircraft. I actually ended up missing my gate. They changed it last minute. I finally made it on board the aircraft. I actually ended up missing my gate. They changed it last minute. I finally made it on board the aircraft. I actually ended up missing my gate. They changed it last minute. It's not often that I mess up audio, but when I do, it's nice knowing I have this plugin that can savage the audio from footage that I can't go back and re-record. The second plugin just makes my life easier and that is called Cinematch. Cinematch is a plugin that allows you to match cameras with ease. While yes, it's very important for colorists to know how to match cameras by hand in color management methods such as Asus or Resolve's inbuilt color management, Cinematch simply saves time. Cinematch has done something very special and has profiled a lot of cameras sensor characteristics and their color science and uses their technology to match each and every camera that you can select from in the menu to one another, allowing you to pick which camera you want to be primary and which camera you want to be matched to. It's a very quick and easy process and because Resolve is node-based, you are also able to build out your node tree and color grade on top of Cinematch as well. Now the next plugin we're gonna talk about is built into DaVinci Resolve and it's called False Color. What False Color allows you to do is to see your luminance values represented in color. And this is a very helpful tool to use when you are color grading to certain lighting ratios and you need the look of the luminance values to be consistent throughout the scene. Remember, white and black are still colors and that is how we represent luminance within cinematography. So this allows you to make sure that your looks are consistent and prevents you from having to go back or second guess yourself because you know exactly where your values are. And on the plus side, it is free. The next plugin that we're gonna talk about is a noise reduction plugin called Neat Video. Now DaVinci Resolve does have some very powerful noise reduction built into the studio version. However, I have found that with heavy noise, it doesn't always do the best job at cleaning it up. And not everybody can afford to shoot at 6K or 8K where your noise looks like film grade. This plugin simply samples a dark area of the footage and uses amazing algorithms to reduce the noise in your footage, saving you a lot of time and frustration when it comes to trying to denoise your footage. The last plugin we are gonna talk about today is a personal favorite of mine called Film Convert. Film Convert also brings color management to the major NLEs that are supported by it, but also it's a very nice way to get a film look to your footage. Film Convert works by downloading camera packs and then those sensors are also profiled so that you can actually emulate the film stock that you choose to its fidelity. One of the things I really love about Film Convert compared to other plugins is its price point. It may not have all the features that some of the other film emulation plugins have on the market, but but it's a very, very good plugin that has had a lot of science put into it and that does work well when it comes to emulating film. One of the things that I love about it is that it doesn't just have motion picture film stocks in there, but it also has some photo film stocks in there as well. This is really nice as a wedding photographer who shoots film because sometimes I do have a little bit of video that I take to market my work and I'm able to have a consistent look across my portfolio when using Pro 400H as film or Portrait 400. Being able to match that with Film Convert is amazing. As I said, guys, all these plugins come with free trials and most of them have Black Friday deals going on right now. So be sure to check them out. The link for all of these plugins are in the description down below for your convenience. If you guys like this video, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, turn on those post notifications if you have not. Be sure to follow me on my social media. The links are in the description down below as well as the YouTube fam. Their links are also in the description down below. My beautiful people, now more than ever, if you are ever feeling uninspired, uncreative, or just want to give up on life, Remember, every day airplanes take off against the wind. Keep climbing, stay inspired, and as always, stay fabulous. 
My name is Sydney. I will see you beautiful people next time. Peace out.